Without a doubt, the Sun is the most influential celestial body in our galactic neighborhood. We owe our very development on our home planet solely to the constant supply of energy from our host star. The other representatives of our planetary system have also always been shaped by their spatial position to the Sun. Some mysterious formations in direct proximity of the Sun, recognizable in images published by NASA, give rise to wild speculation again and again. The subject of this video is these objects spotted in the Sun's vicinity and the unbelievable conclusions supporters of alien theories draw from them. Are you into breathtaking phenomena, discoveries, and riddles of the universe? Then subscribe to Simply Space to never miss any of our posts in the future. If you like the content of our channel, give us a thumbs up. Let's move on to the mysterious spectacles on the sun, currently keeping the world in suspense. Mysterious Objects Near the Sun It sounds like a suspenseful scene from a futuristic science fiction movie, but in fact, some people in the space observatory SOHO have repeatedly seen unknown flying objects leaving the sun, headed towards the infinite expanses of the universe. The objects in the images, captured by the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, differ greatly depending on the time of recording, however. In some images, for example, the supposed flying saucers appear as bright, relatively large balls of light with a long tail. Alien enthusiasts are certain that the pictures captured by SOHO supply proof for the existence of intelligent life forms thought to be actually living in the sun. UFOs are said to come directly from the inside of the glowing star and make their way across the solar system. This unbelievable thesis drives still more offshoot theories. Specifically, the conspiracy theorists believe that the constitution of the sun is completely different than reported by renowned scientists. At the end of this line of abstract reasoning is the hollow sun theory. The far-fetched hollow sun theory. Unbelievable, but true. Advocates of this thesis are firmly convinced that the sun is in fact a hollow celestial body. As if this assumption were not already ludicrous enough, the hollow sun theory also pursues the approach that within the sun is a distinct planetary system. This is supposed to be the home of the most diverse intelligent life forms, hiding themselves most successfully before our terrestrial gaze. Furthermore, a gigantic gate is said to be on the exterior of the sun, through which the aliens can sweep in and out at will. If one follows this crude theory, the extraterrestrial inhabitants of the glowing fireball are also fully aware of the existence of mankind. In fact, the unknown life forms are said to leave cryptic messages on the surface of the sun on a regular basis in order to get in contact with our earthlings. At any rate, this is the line of reasoning advanced by ufologist Scott C. Waring. This creative powerhouse says he's recognized a mysterious symbol in the sun photo published by NASA. It decorates the outside of the dwarf star, and he says it's made with intention. In a photo made by SOHO, we can indeed see the number two on the sun's surface. But why should the aliens have decided of all things to convey a message to mankind in the form of a number? If one were to follow Waring's explanation, it's a spiritual symbol possessing a profound background. Two stands for love, harmony, and consideration. In this symbolism, Waring recognizes a request from the aliens for mankind to trust in the natural energies flowing through the universe. The science counters this equally breathtaking and loopy thesis, however, with a sober conclusion. Experts state that the figure on the surface of the sun is not a spiritual alien message at all, but simply a stream of constantly moving gases, called convection in the scientific community. The corresponding convection cells can become thousands of miles long and assume the most diverse forms. Also speaking against the idea of alien intelligence is the circumstance that the appropriate formations change their structural nature every few minutes. We can observe a similar phenomenon in modified form on our home planet. Convection movements on the sun can be compared to those patterns we see when we observe the bubbles in a pot of boiling water. One would have to speak of extraordinary luck if the aliens had perfectly timed their message to mankind to the moment when Soho is taking pictures of the sun. 
But why do we humans recognize a deeper meaning in some natural structures that apparently don't exist at all? Science has an answer to this question as well. Why we recognize familiar patterns in natural formations. The phenomenon of recognizing familiar patterns, such as letters, numbers, or faces, in natural structures or objects, is called pareidolia in the expert world. Just consider the world-famous image showing what appears to be a human face on the surface of Mars. Due to some unique shadow gradients, we get the impression that the famous red planet is actually adorned by a face. We completely disregard the surrounding formations in this interpretation. We have all laid in a meadow in the summer and let our eyes wander to the clouds. It never takes long to recognize familiar patterns in the vapor structures in the sky. But why is it that we tend to recognize familiar shapes in natural structures? The answer to this question lies in our brain. In fact, our thinking apparatus tends to classify the world around us into familiar patterns. Accordingly, every time we look at our surroundings, there is a subconscious expectation that we will be able to classify what we see into a familiar context. The illusions that ultimately result from the misinterpretations of our brain can be perceived by several people at the same time due to subconscious expectations. To visualize this phenomenon once again, we can take a look at the stone head in Markawasi. Here, we recognize the silhouette of a human skull on the right side of the structure, complete with a nose, mouth, and a chin. However, we unconsciously completely disregard the other shapes, which in truth make up the majority of the rock. Our brain looks for familiar, classifiable forms, while at the same time, it more or less fades out those parts that we cannot attribute to any known pattern. Explanations for the alleged UFO sightings The question still remains as to what the mysterious objects near the sun actually are. The answer to this alleged mystery is likely to cause pronounced disillusionment among the followers of adventurous theories. NASA states that the glistening bright objects, which apparently fly from the sun into the universe, are in all probability conventional asteroids or comets. From the perspective of the photographs, it appears as if the starting point of the galactic bodies is the sun's surface. However, this does not correspond to the actual trajectory of the respective objects. Specifically, the perspective of the photographs makes an optical illusion that arouses the impression in us that the corresponding formations start directly from the sun. And how about the darker objects that we can recognize on other pictures from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory? Here too, researchers at the renowned space agencies have plausible explanations ready. The background, however, isn't the natural structure of the sun or a misleading perspective. Rather, the galactic devil hides here in the technical detail. The small dark spots on the photos are simply faulty image artifacts resulting from simple data failures. In fact, these small technical quirks occur relatively often in the SOHO. Small blocks of information are lost in the course of data transmission between the space observatory and the terrestrial research facilities. In view of the fact that the highly complex technical equipment is located almost one million miles away from our blue home planet, this circumstance seems understandable. Since the launch of the SOHO mission in 1995, space researchers have gained many important insights into the natural makeup of our host star. Although SOHO is actually designed to conduct various scientific experiments that will provide significant information about the Sun, the unmanned spacecraft has already succeeded in spotting 4,000 previously completely unknown comets during its mission. Current plans call for the spacecraft to continue its service until about 2025. What do you think of the alleged UFOs in the proximity of the Sun? We're looking forward to reading your ideas, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments. Now click on one of the images in the credits to be taken to more fascinating posts about outer space. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.